What is up guys, Element Dex here, and today 1.8.2 just dropped, and luckily we got alpha build for this version. So let's see what is new in this update. So exploring locations. The mechanics of visiting locations has been completely changed. Now you don't just hunt for loot and fight, but also earn points for exploring the area. These points are required to upgrade your character's skills. Oh, I get it now. The location entry screen has been also changed. It now shows your exploration progress and the skill you can get. The skills for each type of locations differ somewhat. You can get extra exploration experience from survivor's diaries, which can sometimes be found in chests. Okay. Recyclers. So recyclers basically recycles stuffs. And also the gunsmith bench is now temporarily unavailable because the recycling bench can do what the gunsmith bench can do. And for the chopper, uh, the chance of finding a fuel tank uh, is now doubled. And also when exploring locations, you now have a chance to find junk vehicle. Oh, with an intact engine that can be dismantled at the recycler. Keep in mind that you need a chopper to move the engine. So I guess there's gonna be some um, wrecked vehicles around the map. So you can get our parts from the vehicle and probably get some stuff from the vehicle. That's kind of cool. The first thing I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna be making the recycling bench, which is um, probably in here. Weapon stand? What? Why do I need to make this again? Plastic? Oh, you can get these new items from the plastic, I mean the recycling bench. I think that's a little bug. Okay, I see. So I can definitely make this recycling bench from what I have uh, right now. So let's go ahead and make it. So you have to click this up arrow and you can see these skills. Sneaking and auto mode. So these are the two skills that you get for default and I guess you can change the skills. I think I want the look around feature and the sprint feature or the roll feature. Motorcycle driver. You know how to handle a motorcycle so if you have a chopper then you get this automatically. And by the way the ATV is not implemented in this update. There's so many skills. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think I lost 20 weapon parts. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. One day it will come handy. Oh my god. Okay, let's make this weapon bench. I mean the recycler and let's place it somewhere in the house. All right, so you just need only one space like this. All right. Place item. So you can place any items in this bench, if I'm correct. Oh, so it is 0%, so I'm probably not going to get the electronic circuit, right? So let's see what happens if I skip. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got this bolt, and the electronic point is now 2. So what if I put the exact same item again? So it has a little bit more chance of getting the bolt. I see, now I see. I got the weapon part. Yeah, I didn't lose it. It was in the inbox. And I got the glock. <gasps> The Glock was almost dead, but I got the full Glock? I'll definitely take that, Kafir. <laughs> I'll definitely take that. So you know you have to put 5 electronic circuits to unlock the Sector 7. I think you're gonna get a refund for that. Oh! Wow, okay. Let's see, what about this one? Pretty much same. It's actually same. I think I love the new UI. This is much more cleaner and everything else. Quiet Gunner. You can make less noise when killing enemies during attack. Okay, okay, I see. So, Pine Zones and Limestone Zones give you different kind of uh, skills. Roll. You can learn to roll in this zone. And you can learn how to uh, survive the cold in this zone. Ah, I see. So what I'm guessing from this is if you haven't unlocked the winter zone, then you have to be here to get this skill and then you can go to the winter zone to survive the cold, I guess. 
So I'm gonna be going to the yellow zone and try to get the second pocket because I actually need the second pocket a lot. Seriously. So under the minimap, you can see the progress, I guess. So I'm gonna be killing this roaming zombie and let's see what you get. 1%. Okay. Fast Spider. Fast Spider gives you 2%. Okay, so I guess this thing gives me 1%. Yeah. 5%? What? Okay. Okay, this guy gave me 7%, I mean 2%. And 9%, so I guess you get um, 2% uh, for each zombies. Two toxic spinners. 18%. 21%. So you get more points as the percentage gets higher? I think it's random. 23% Yeah, it's definitely random Oh, the toxics Oh, no, 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 no 29% 2% So I think there is a range for each zombies So for easy zombies like uh, slow biters or fast biters I think the range is 1% to 2% And for hard zombies such as floater bloaters I think it's about 2% to 4% Oh, and you also get points for picking up stuffs. Okay. I probably found about 4 or 5 zones. And I have 5 learning points. So let's learn. And... We got... Oh, focused. So 1% more likely to see a special event on the map. Let's see. What about this one? Iron Miner, okay. 4% Iron Miner. 6% please raider okay 8% so I got the iron miner four times already so I think this is gonna be almost impossible to get yeah this is almost impossible one best way to get it is to find a survivor's diary inside of the box so that was it for today's video guys and see you guys in the next video